We're going to code a ultrasonic distance sensor, the HCSR04. Um, I need a the MakerBit extensions, and um, I'm going to use a NeoPixel also. So get a NeoPixel extension. Again, the extensions are up here under the gear. You're going to have to search for the MakerBit. So here's the things we're going to do. Um, the MakerBit has a whole bunch of extensions. Uh, the ultrasonic is what we're using, so we have to tell, first of all, we have an ultrasonic. And pin 5 and 8 are kind of defaulted to what it's set at because the Grove connector that we're plugging into is set to pin 5 and 8. So if you're going to use the Grove connector, which you should, um, because it's an easier connection, that's going to be set for pin 5 and 8. Also on startup, uh, since I'm going to use NeoPixels, I better set up a NeoPixel. I gotta tell it I got a NeoPixel. I'm plugged into pin 16, and I'm going to put 10 on there. Um, I also want to on startup show green, as in because I'm doing a distance sensor. And I'm going to set it for you know if we get less than something trigger so like if you're not under if you're not close be green and so green is go I also want just an initial tone on startup that just says say hey, we started the program yeah yeah you, you're gonna be annoying I'll turn you off um, so now we need some loops here or logic Often we put if loops in, if we're close, do something. Like if you're running a, a robotic car that if you get close to a wall, turn. I actually want the, the distance sensor to keep going off. So I'm gonna use a while loop. So while we're close, keep going off. Um, so back to the ultrasonic and I want Ultrasonic distance. While the ultrasonic distance is less than, and I'll just put in 20 centimeters. You can change that to inches if you want. So while the ultrasonic distance is less than 20 centimeters, do something. And what I wanted to do is play an annoying note. I also wanted to change my NeoPixels to red. So like as in, it's getting close, alarm, and show red for stop. So you can think about this in terms of uh, audio impaired or visual impaired people, how you'd want to create multiple sensing uh, that displays in multiple senses. And that's all you need. So I told it I have an ultrasonic sensor. I told it where the trigger and the echo are at. Those are pins on the sensor that, that are called trigger and echo. Make sure you're, if you say triggers on pin five, make sure you're plugging the trigger into pin five. And if you say the echo is on pin eight, make sure you're plugging the echo in, you know, into pin eight kind of thing. Um, NeoPixels on pin 16. Show green to initialize. Um, play a tone to tell me we started and then in a forever loop just keep looking keep sensing and while the ultrasonic distance is less than 20 centimeters play a tone and show red that's all we need so then you download or save and then you go to the downloads folder yes I've been playing this a few times and that's the thing with coding you're always iterating and trying different things and you drag and drop onto the micro bit. My micro bit is plugged into my computer. That's why it's there. And it's going to copy on. There was a tone to say, hey, we're, we're playing. And then we're ready to go.